Building your first Discord bot in Go. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a full stack web developer and content creator here on YouTube and my blog, brianmorrison.me. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look how you can create your very first Discord bot using the Go programming language, which is one of my favorite languages. Uh, we're gonna start by registering an application inside of the Discord developer portal. We're then going to head into VS Code and write some code to create a simple bot that's gonna respond to, as we need to start off with a hello world example so we're going to be there and then we're going to head over into discord and test out our code uh, if you're interested in this type of content whether it is general web development uh, specifically in the serverless realm i also do some devops stuff do me a favor like and subscribe like this video subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends and let's hop to it so the first thing we need to do before creating the code for the bot is we're going to need to register an application in Discord's uh, developer portal. And this can be accessed by going to discord.com forward slash developers forward slash applications. To create an application, go ahead and click the new application button in the upper right hand corner, and then give your application a name. I will type, I will name my application go discord, discord bot. And then we're gonna check the box that says we agree to the terms of service and click create. So from the landing page, for this bot, you're gonna to wanna to go to the left-hand side when you'll see a navigation section here called bot. Click on that, and then let's click add bot to create the bot functionality for our application. Okay, so this is gonna be your bot. Let's go ahead and change this name here, and we'll just name it uh, mygobot, all one word. And let's scroll down a, bit, a little bit. Underneath the privilege gateway intents section, you're gonna to wanna to check the box that says message content intent. An intent in Discord bot development is basically a way that your code can tell the Discord servers what exactly it's trying to do so Discord knows what information that your bot needs to function properly. I'll go ahead and select this and then click save. Once the changes are saved, let's go ahead and click this button here that says reset token. And this is gonna generate a token for us that we can use to authenticate the bot in the code. I'm going to go ahead and click yes, do it. And then if you have two factor authentication, you're going to need to require, you're going to be required to enter your code in here. So I'm going to fast forward past this part so you don't steal my account. Once the token's been generated, copy the token down and save it for later use because we're going to need to put this in the code for the bot. And once that's done, we need to invite the bot to a server. I'm going to go ahead and click the OAuth2 button on the left hand side. And there is a URL generator and navigation item here. And what this lets you do is generate a URL that you can use to invite the bot to your server. Let's select the option here that says bot. Uh, for the bot permissions, you can read through all of these different scopes that you can allow for your bot, but for the sake of simplicity for the tutorial, I'm just gonna select administrator. And then there's a URL down here that will be generated. We're gonna copy this URL and then open it in a new tab. Okay, now you can see Go Discord bot wants access to your Discord account. So I'm gonna drop down this server options here and I'm gonna select content, which is just a fresh server that I created for the sake of doing this tutorial series. I'll click continue. It's going to ask us to confirm that the bot wants administrator permissions to this Discord server. I'll click Authorize. And then I will tell Discord that I'm indeed a human. Okay, so once you see this Authorize page, you can actually go and go over to Discord and check to see that the bot is added to the server. So this is my view of that Discord server, and you can see on the right-hand side, I now have my GoBot as offline, uh, but it has been added to the server. Now let's over to VS Code and write some code to get this bot working. Okay, so I'm in VS Code, and I just have an empty folder open to uh, kick off the project. I'm gonna go ahead and open the integrated terminal because we're gonna need to initialize this project, and let's type in go mod init go Discord bot and hit enter. Now Go's created a new go.mod file for us, so we've initialized the module. Let's also touch main.go. Now we need to install the package we're gonna to use to connect to Discord and interact with the servers. Uh, let's type in go git github.com forward slash bwmarin forward slash discord go. Okay, now that the packages have been added, we can open main.go and we'll start writing some code in here. Let's type in package.main to kick it off. And then we're going to import our newly installed Discord Go package. So github.com forward slash bwmarin forward slash Discord Go. And then I'll start writing our main function. So I'll do func main. And now the first step of this is to create a session which is used to create that connection to Discord's servers. So I'll type in SESS as my session variable name. And that's also gonna, this function is also gonna return an error. And the function is going to be discord go.new. 
And then we want to pass in bot with a space. And then we're going to paste in our, our, our token that we received from the Discord developer portal. Now let's check the error value just so we can escape out of the application in case it doesn't work properly. So I'll type in if ERR is not equal to nil, log.fatal, and then we'll just log that error out for now. Okay, I've saved it so this way Go can automatically create, add some new imports for me. And then for the first thing we need to do after creating a session is we need to add a handler to the section, to the session. The handler is what's going to process the incoming message requests from Discord so we can do what we need to with them. I'm actually gonna close out this sidebar here so I get a little more room to work with. Um, this function accepts another function as its parameters. So we'll type in func. The first parameter of the internal function is gonna be s and it's going to take a pointer to discord go dot session. And then M is going to be discord go dot message create, which is the event that we're going to handle. Let's open some curly brackets to open this function. And the first thing we're gonna do before we do anything else inside here is we're going to check to make sure that the member that is posting a message to the server isn't the bot itself. And we can do this by if m.author.id is equal to the session.state.user.id, we just wanna return and not do anything else. So if the author of the message is the same as the session author ID, I suppose, um, we're just not gonna handle the message. Next, we can check the content of the message. We'll type in if m.content is equal to hello, because we have to do a hello world example. Uh, we want to type in s.channel message send, and then we'll just type in uh, m.channel ID, which is going to be the channel of where the message was sent in the first place. And then we'll just type in world like that. So if somebody in our Discord server types in hello and nothing else, the bot will respond with world at an exclamation point immediately underneath it. Next, we need to set the intents. If you recall earlier in this uh, tutorial, we checked a box that said we want to allow the intent of reading messages from a server. So now we need to tell the bot to send that intent to Discord servers. So this way they know to send the information to us. So we can do this with session.identify dot intents, which is where you would set this. And that's going to be equal to discord go dot intents all without privilege. And this is just a special uh, named variable inside of the discord go package, which kind of handles setting those intents for us. So we don't have to go and generate them manually ourselves. Now we're going to all now we need to open the session and that re that function returns a variable of error. So error equals session dot open. We're gonna check this error again, and I'm gonna log.fatal error if something goes wrong here. And then we're going to defer session.close. So when our application exits, the last thing it'll do before this function exits will uh, close the session to Discord. It's kind of handling that a little more elegantly. Now let's go ahead and add a little message so we know we've gotten to this point. So fmt.println, and we're just gonna say the bot is online. Okay, and the absolute last thing we need to do is we need to figure, we need to set the bot up so this way it doesn't actually exit as soon as the code runs completely through. We're basically going to block the thread, so to speak. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste in some code here, which will create a channel to listen for uh, system notifications. And then if we pass something like a control C into our application, it's going to tell the, uh, the, the Discord bot that it's time to close up. So now with all that code written, uh, this should be pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna open up the integrated terminal again, and I'll expand this so we have a little more space. And then I'm gonna type in go run dot to run the application. Okay, we got the message of the bot is online. Let's head over to Discord and test it out. Okay, so back in Discord, what you'll see here is my go bot now shows as being online because our bot code is actually running. So if I type in hello and hit enter, our bot responds immediately with world. And if I type in anything else like ASDF, you can see the bot doesn't actually respond with anything because it's specifically looking for the term hello. And uh, that is how you make a very simple hello world discord bot in Go. While the example in this video is relatively straightforward, this is simply the first in a series of videos I plan to create to show you how to do some pretty cool stuff with Go and Discord. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. I'm targeting to upload something every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.